Ireland has a diverse geology and understanding what lies beneath us is hugely important in terms of exploring for minerals and building materials, groundwater mapping and flooding prevention. I'm meeting Owen McGrath, Head of Minerals with Geological Survey Ireland. Owen, how different is the ground beneath our feet across the country? It's very different, Eveen. Across the middle of the country, we have an awful lot of limestones, which are about 350 million years old. And then in general, around the outskirts of the country, on the coasts and mountain ranges, we have older rocks. So in these older rocks, we get deposits like our Copper Coast deposit down in Waterford, the copper mines at Avoca, and some of the gold deposits that we have in the northwest of the country. So it's actually quite different, and you're going to find out in detail what exactly it looks like. That's the idea, yes. We'll drill holes and we'll do seismic profiles and we'll go out and we'll physically map the surface as well. And from that, we can piece together a picture of what the three-dimensional architecture of Ireland is. Geologists use a variety of different techniques to map and understand the subsurface of Ireland, from aerial surveys to geochemical analysis to soil and water sampling. And then when we find an interesting area like we have here, we can bring our drill rig in and we can start to look at what physically is there in the subsurface. This drill rig has been here since about April and we're down over 800 metres deep at this point. OK, so it actually takes months to get down a few hundred metres. It does, and it gets slower and slower the deeper you go because you have to push the, the rod through an awful lot of rock by the time you're down at 800 metres. So as the drill is going down, it's also collecting samples. That's right, yeah. So this is what a drill bit looks like, and this sits at the bottom of the string of rods. So there's 830 meters of steel rods screwed into the top of one of these, sitting right at the bottom of this hole. And this is made of tungsten carbide with artificial diamonds across it. And okay. this chews through the rock, and we make a cylinder of rock, and then every three meters we pull it up, and we have a look at it, and then we go again. So they've actually just taken up a rod here now. This is coming from 833 to 836 meters. And we're coming down and we're going to change over to the next core okay. barrel. And then this core barrel, which is empty, is going to go back up into the drill string. We'll go all the way down the hole and we'll start drilling the next three meters. So it's quite a methodical process. It's a really methodical process. It takes an awful lot of patience and an awful lot of accuracy to make sure that we get good results and that we get good core out of this, this project. So Owen, this is what's just been extracted using the drill. Can you tell by looking at it what kind of substance it is? Well, straight away we can tell that it's limestone. And we see that we have two different types of limestones here. So as we've been standing at the rig, we've drilled through the contact between one rock and into another. So this upper rock here, which you can see, is very fractured. It's got lots of little holes and, and cavities in it. And then as we come down further in the hole, we see a really sharp transition right here as we're moving from this fractured oh, calcite-filled yeah. rock into this more muddy horizons. And within this formation, we see lots of little mud laminations and also an awful lot of fossils, really small shell fragments that would have lived at the bottom of the sea at this time. So you can tell that there is no valuable minerals really here. It's just limestone that we're looking at. Pretty much. These drill cores are packaged up and sent to be logged and catalogued in the Geological Survey Ireland's core store, which is host to thousands of sections of rock. The shelves here represent a geological jigsaw that can be pieced together to reveal a captivating snapshot of Ireland's underworld. This is the core store. The core here dates back to the 1950s and 1960s, and we have about 400 kilometres of drill core within this facility. This really is an, an archive of physical material that we can go back to again and again with new and updated techniques and, and understand more information from it. So this is just a random example of a, one of the holes that we have here. And this is one of nearly 50,000 boxes which we have within the, within the core store. We have three runs of core here for about a metre and a half each. And we store them on these racks so that they're easily accessible. To visualise the hidden properties of each core, Owen runs the samples through an infrared scanner. The information is published online and can be freely accessed by the public. Metals were crucial to forging and powering the Industrial Revolution. 
For the current green revolution, copper and iron continue to be in high demand, but clean energy technologies such as wind turbines, solar panels and electric vehicles will rely heavily on lesser spotted metals like cobalt and lithium. Oh, and I have to confess, I didn't realise that we actually have lithium in Ireland. That's right, we do have some very good lithium prospects in the southeast of Ireland along the Black Stairs Mountains and along the Wicklow Mountains. We've known about these deposits since the 1970s when they were first identified, but back then the exploration was for lithium in use in nuclear weapons and in use in medicine for uh, depression treatment. So nowadays, of course, lithium is used quite extensively in batteries and in green technologies. So it's suddenly a much more important element than it was 40 or 50 years ago. So this is really all about supply and demand. I mean, if we knew lithium was there, but we didn't really need it, now we're definitely going to need it. Does this happen a lot in geology where maybe there's kind of a, a flavor of the month in terms of a mineral? It happens a huge amount. We see really strong commodity cycles where you have a very high price followed by a very low price followed by a very high price. With metals like lithium in such high demand, the Core Store Archive provides an invaluable resource to re-examine drill cores that were previously found to contain traces of lithium. So this here is a pegmatite, and this is something that we, are, that we explore for, for lithium. And so a pegmatite is a granitic type of rock, and it occurs in veins within the earth. So you can see as you go down the hole that we have all this nice muddy sediments and then very abruptly it changes into a pegmatite, so this white rock. And so within this we get a mineral called spodumene and the spodumene mineral is what hosts the lithium and that's the really important um, element that comes out of these deposits. So when companies are interested in exploring, they can come here to our archive and they can look at drill holes that have already been drilled, which may save them having to go and put in the same drill hole again. There's lots of core here and most of the core here is sitting in a mine or in a mining region. And we know that there are lots of core here that has some zinc or some lead or some interesting minerals in it. And lots of uh, geologists in Ireland say that the next mine is sitting somewhere up in those shelves. It just hasn't been discovered yet. 